Hello. Hello, hello. <laughs> Hello, Eki. <laughs> Let's see if I can um, go ahead and add you. Yep. Yeah. Hi. Hello. What's up? <laughs> how are you? Good. How are you? I am well. Can you hear me good? Can you see me good? Very clearly, yes. I'm gonna turn on a light. Give me two seconds. Hey, Naf Naf. Okay. Hey, Naf. Hello, hello, everyone that's jumping in. Hi, Shannon. <laughs> oh, this is so exciting. And you pronounce your name Eki, right? Eki. Nice. Yes, yes, yeah, yes. Nice. Okay, I say yours. I don't wanna mess it up because it said it so beautifully. The Carisha. Carisha. Mm hmm. What does it mean? Well, it's a combination of my father's name and my mother's name. Um, well, the sound of my mother's name. My father's name was Curry, and then my mom's name was Felicia. So it's Curisha. You know how they try okay, to. I like that. <laughs> to Thank you. I'm not going to forget that. <laughs> yes, yes, oh yes. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to, I'm trying to wait until a few more people get on. I want to go ahead and start. Um, Introducing you, just letting everyone what who you are and what you do. Nah. No. <laughs> no problem. You like it? Nessie says she likes my hair color. Yeah, I think I, you've seen it. I've had it for like two months now. Dope. Maybe I've always had a head wrap one when we're talking. Yeah, it looks good. I've never dyed my hair before. <laughs> I, I'm always changing my hair. Nice. But I've had this color off and on for like two years. Mm -hmm. I love the color. Oh my goodness. She probably just noticed that it stand out. I blew it out a little bit and then mm -hmm. I was like, and I patted it. So it did a little something. No, no. <laughs> I love your hair too. Thank you. Thank you. Thank You're you. You're welcome. Uh, only fans. They last very long. They're very nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So thank we you, can, nice uh, you. I think we can get started a little bit. No problem. Hello, um, Shakira, and everybody that's on. Um, so just go ahead and introduce yourself. Let us know um, where you're from, what you do, um, just a little bit of that, and then we can go into the conversation. Whatever. You Absolutely. Need. Thank you, Karisha, for having me and um, you guys for giving me this platform. Um, happy Friday! Yes, right? Friday. Yes. We got a long weekend. <laughs> I'm excited for this long weekend. Yeah. Yes, so we yes. made it to Friday, y'all. We got a long weekend. I need y'all to rest. Mm -hmm. So my name is Eki. Um, Eki Asimota, or you can call me Ekiwa, but I go by Eki by many of my loved ones, family, and friends. I am a on um, an entrepreneur and artist as well. So I have two small businesses. I have a, a for-profit and a non-profit. Mm -hmm. I have a LLC called Eki's Famous. Mm -hmm. Eki means joy or market. I am of Nigerian and Dominican descent. Okay. So with Eki's Famous, I design jewelry, clothes. I also teach um, inspirational dance classes, all about self-esteem building. And I also pour, I only make custom designs. So I make African dolls, to jewelry, to clothes. During this COVID, I've been able to create t-shirt and go create some COVID mask, healing mask, where I put a lot of love and positive energy into it. Mm -hmm. So that is Eki's Famous. I've had that company since 2007, and it's been an amazing shot. I'm going to keep shouting. I feel like I'm going to keep shouting out Nessie, who's one of my closest sisters. I love um, her. And all the ladies on here. So stay tuned. Yes, yes. <laughs> Nephi and I got to, um, through Eki Famous, I started a performing arts division in 2011 where we got to actually travel to Nigeria for about 10 days to mm -hmm. teach um, at a church over there and to donate items to um, a public school that was just coming up. So we got to be the first to donate books um, in DR. So Nephi got to join us on that trip. Beautiful. So that's Eki Famous. Yeah. And then I have a nonprofit called Your Queen. Mm -hmm. um, I 
to your queens with a group of mine. I have one of my queens on here, Queen Shannon, who plays Queen Nefertiti. Shout out to Shannon. Um, your queens, what we do, we are the first African character company. And what we do is we teach about African royalty through storytelling, song, and dance. Nice. And what that means is, yeah, go ahead. No, I'm listening. I oh, said nice. Yeah, yeah. What that means is um, I love Disney, nothing wrong with Disney, but we, I had a, got a vision that we can get into it uh, later on the story of your queens where I was told to create African queens because Disney's amazing um, characters or cartoon characters are amazing, but they are fictional. So it's about having these non-fictional characters like Makita, Queen of Sheba, Goddess Isis, Queen of Tiki, Queen of Zinga, Queen of Luna, Queen Cleopatra, Nanaya, mm -hmm. You gotta say their names and we literally dress up like these queens and we educate children and adults through storytelling song and dance in five years we've done over 250 small to big from um assemblies to black history month women's history month public schools daycare center colleges uh even intimate we've done weddings and so many different things like that so that's your ekis famous and your queens are my my babies my two loves that, that i've had for many 13 years all together that is beautiful. That's amazing. And I really, when you're talking mm -hmm. about um, Eki's Famous, that was really cool that you were mentioning how during quarantine you were able to create a lot. And I think that was like one of the things that people kind of looked over with quarantine. Like quarantine really was beneficial. It was just your mindset that you had to really tap into um, because you have a lot of time to create. You have a, time, a lot of time to take a moment and write down all the things that you want to do and really get some work done. So Shout out to that, taking advantage of that um, that time there, um, because that was a that still is a tough place for a lot of people. Um, and then also your queens, like I remember when I was watching the video, I work for Fairy Tale Entertainment, so I play Princess Tiana, and of course that's the only, <laughs> of course that's the only um, princess that I'm able to play um, because we we have the same skin tone. But it's important that, like you said, it's not about um, the fairy tale of it. It's about actual real stories and having someone to look up to for those young girls. So since we're talking about yeah. manifesting and hey. we're talking about manifesting and we're talking about um, finding your purpose, what was it that you experienced that you knew that that was something that you had to create and that was something that was supposed to be for um younger children how did you how did you receive that how did you go forth that creating your queens yes not you mean just in general not during covid right just in general not, not during covid just how did you come up with the idea that you that was something that you needed to create yeah to be a representation for young girls like how did you receive that how did that that's um settle with you um it's been a for me Starting your queens in 2015, and we just became incorporated as a nonprofit. It'll be a oh, it's a year this month. This month is a year we've been incorporated. Okay. Happy one year! Congratulations! Uh, thank you, thank you. So we're building it for four years just to get in the feet wet, experience it. This is something so brand new to us. Well, we all know that I was. I always say our ancestors were enslaved. I don't like to say we were slaves. We had, we were enslaved because before that we were kings and queens, doctors, lawyers, architects. Uh, healers go on and mm -hmm. on Creators, so for me yes. mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. it just made sense the journey of my life as an artist I want to say it started at the age of nine where I knew I had a purpose I had a mission I'm very spiritual so I put God first or whatever everyone believes in the universe mm -hmm. I, I literally I read something one day and I'm gonna it's gonna get to the answer to your question mm -hmm. read something one day learning about a key why who I am I'm always like reinventing myself and evolving and growing and being confident through everything and i was a little pissed off but then i researched and i was like oh this makes sense it said that i was incorrigibly benevolent mm -hmm. and what that literally means that i was stubborn very stubbornly good wow stubbornly good i was like oh my god that may if my my sister's on here shout out to osa <laughs> amazing mommy of <Hello>. three <laughs> <laughs> so the story started because of my journey as an artist. I'll tell you the real story of why it's important. As I, I told you about Eki's Fema, I was teaching one-of-a-kind classes. I still am. I just finished a social distance workshop at Jamaica Center in Queens. So I was teaching a workshop um, at a church. 
one of the parents uh, to the student, one of my students, she was about four or five, she invited, her mother invited me to her birthday party. Mm -hmm. So I've told the story a lot. And some of my queens have heard this story. And they're like, he, it's so funny because I kept it to myself for a while. And this goes as learning to be authentically yourself, whatever. You know, some people are going to love it. And it's all part of the journey. Yeah. So I go to this birthday party. Mind you, I don't have any kids yet. I go because I'm greedy. Teresha, I love food. So I'm like, there's going to be food at this birthday party. I'm going. It's going to be nice. I know there's going to be some fried chicken, all kind of stuff. I go to the birthday party, and I'm sitting there. All our beautiful children, African-American, black and brown, they're partying. They're enjoying themselves. Two Caucasian princes, white princesses, come out. It's normal. Nothing. They, they, you know, we've seen it all our lives, going to parties. You don't think anything. Nothing's laughing. Yeah, you know, I love food. So... I get to the birthday party and literally it felt like I was, I remember sitting down and it felt like I was sitting on a throne. I can literally, and God told me, I brought, I saw these two princesses and God said, I brought you here. Now it's time for you to evolve to your next level. I need you to start this company called, he didn't give me the name yet. And I was, I sat there and I was like, all right. Mm -hmm. So that was October, 2014. When I went to this birth, <laughs> yes, to the fried chicken. That was 2014 when I went to this birthday party that had these two white princesses, and I got this vision from God. Mm -hmm. um, January 2015, we were launched. So four months, I researched. God gave me a vision to research Queen Nefertiti, Makita, mm -hmm. Queen of Sheba, Goddess Isis. Every couple of weeks, I researched these women, how they look, how they dress, what, what their character was about, what, when did they reign. Mm -hmm. In January, I called them a few of my friends, and we launched it in January. So it's literally, it wasn't me. Mm -hmm. I didn't say I'm going to start this. And I, but I, it makes sense that God chose me as a vessel to start this and bring on. I have an amazing team. There's almost about 20 of us deep from elders to queens to princesses to prince and to people that we're grooming. And it's been such a, we've been able to touch thousands of lives, of lives but it's also been a personal transformation. Mm -hmm. And because we're able to look at life differently, and it's not only say I'm a queen because you, you can be a king or queen because of whatever you went through, what you right. overcome, mm -hmm. what, you, yeah. what you've seen yourself overcome pretty much. Mm -hmm. So whatever that is. For me, I had uh, locks for seven years, uh, 17 years. Starting your queens, I cut my locks. They were beautiful. Nothing. It was just time. Yeah. I always say when I get to my 50s, I'm going to grow them back again. But <laughs> it, and to see it now, like even with Eki's famous children, I had self-esteem issues growing up. Mm -hmm. And I didn't recognize, and the reason, sometimes you got to let your pain or what you go through manifest your purpose or your calling. Yeah. Because I went through those self-esteem, Eki's Famous and Your Queens is about self-esteem building. Mm -hmm. Then it's you are, no matter what that is. Yeah. So it's, I teach it in my dance classes, in workshops, in, in communication and meditating, and just to see, like, we are great, yeah. no matter what we overcome, you know, and just to plant a seed for the next generation to come. Yeah. Yeah, that's beautiful. I'm so happy that you had that experience and that you're able to now Thank share you. it with us. It's, it's so important that we hear stories like so, because a lot of people, a lot of people don't really know how to even start looking for what their purpose is or um, not really sure what they should go to in life. So what advice can you give on that? Like with, with I guess we can start with manifesting. Um, but where do you start and what does that mean for you? Because me personally, when you manifest something, it's, more, it's less of just writing it down and sitting it over there and just waiting until it gets there. It's taking those steps to actually be the person that you imagine yourself to be right now at this moment and doing the work. Like you said, you had to research the queens here and there, you know, go in and out and doing that research. And a lot of people don't understand that when you find your purpose and you find that thing that you want to do, you have to now put yourself in that position today, not wait until there's a time where, okay, this works for me and I'm going to wait 10 years later and 10 years, I'm going to be here. I'm going to do this. No. What do you need to do right now in this moment that will remind you that you are already the person that you imagine yourself to be because you are, you know, so what for you what what do you think about that what do you think about the idea of manifesting and how to you know really tackle your purpose in that way i mean you said it um 
I, I'm not a master manifester yet. I'm getting to that. I see I've, my life is manifestation. But really, and I, I can only, we can only speak sometimes in present of what's going on now, right? Mm -hmm. How do you get there, especially during these times? And it's to go within. Mm -hmm. For me, it's literally going within. Because once you do that, you have to really tap into who you are. Going within can mean meditating, can mean mm -hmm. running, can mean writing a book. Oh, to me, really sitting still. I spend a lot of time sitting still. Right mm -hmm. before this live, it was sitting still before to bring what the energy and clear the space and make sure that the people who are coming in, it's a lot of, and we're staring energies right now. So finding purpose, and I hope I'm answering why. I had this conversation with a great, great, great friend of mine. And they're like, how do you, because sometimes we, I, I don't like the English language too much. Okay. It's right? Because you feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love every action person. <laughs> I, yay! I'm so happy you connected to that. <laughs> I know. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm an yeah. energy person and I'm a very action. Like, we'll talk. I'm not. Like, we could talk. No problem. Yeah. Like, I'll kick it with my sisters or whatever. But you get what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, when I say that, because a person could, oh, yo, I'm about to do this. And it's cool. Your journey is your journey, right? So, don't look at nobody else. Don't look at nobody else. Only surround yourself with people who's going to lift you up. Then you're going to have people that's going to challenge you, but you know that they know your heart. Mm -hmm. And the only thing I can say is just start. Yeah. Yeah. One thing that has, one of my favorite quotes that has carried me for like the past five years now, and when you live your purpose, because I do believe we all have, hey, hey, queen. I do believe Mickey's on here. She's been my assistant for like 20 years. I love you. Hello. <laughs> right here, left hand. <laughs> so, um, it's just starting. One of my favorite quote is, whether you're in an audience of one or millions or thousands, you got to remain consistent, whatever that is for you. Mm -hmm. So starting is, if you want to start a t-shirt line, go print it. Mm -hmm. What are you waiting for? Oh, you may, oh, I got to wait for the money. Do you know how many times I spent, Okay, I'm not saying this is advice for everybody. I'm not. I'm not saying that. I don't. I don't have a full. I don't have a job. My job is my company. I mm -hmm. work by myself. I'm a teaching artist. I, I'm a consultant with many organizations. That didn't happen overnight, y'all. Right. That happened. This. I've been doing this for years. I'm just now coming to that point. Can mm -hmm. we keep it 100? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Definitely. To that point. I, hello. hello. But I, I trust my journey. <laughs> I trust my faith. I trust my walk. So there's been many times where, and again, I, I've had so much faith in what God has for my life and what the purpose and mission is that I spent my last mm -hmm. and I've gotten it three times full because I didn't, I didn't, so it's being fearless, mm -hmm. having faith and just do it. Yeah. Just do it. Just do it. So it's the thought of, oh, what if I fail? Yeah, you're going to fail. Mm -hmm. That is part of the process. Mm -hmm. oh, and the how many times I, I failed? Yes, yes. yes. Go ahead. The reason, and how many the times I people, people, you got to speak it out. Yeah. Yes, you have to speak it, speak it out. And the, I feel like the reason why people think that or get a little shook up about re going through a process of failure is because they probably didn't take the time to realize all the failures they had before and where it has brought them right now. When we start to really take in the moment right now, we start to become grateful for literally everything that we have walked through. And it makes sense. So once you realize that everything that you have done has equaled up to this moment right now, then you're no longer afraid of what's going to come because you know that you're going to be okay regardless. But until you are okay, until you like really, you know, click that in your head, like right now, today, I can be that person that I'm, I, I'm wanting to be that I see um, having that vision like that's all important and you have to realize that if it wasn't for the things that you went through before you probably wouldn't even have that thought right now you gotta be you, you know you gotta soak you gotta soak that in um but it's it's interesting because finding hey, it's, it's, it's so much love on here it's so one much of my love. queens my goddess Isis is on here my Hello. boo one that just jumped in we are literally just getting to like the tip top of um manifesting and what that means and just to backtrack just a tiny tiny bit we were saying how manifesting is writing it down and seeing it is already walking in it today it's not waiting on quote unquote the right time it's trusting yourself jumping in those shoes and already walking that path 
because you are the person that you imagine yourself to be and that's just it you are already that person and you can make it you can make it happen and one of the advice um some of the advice that you had given is going within and how important it is to really self-reflect and really just go within yourself and figure out what is for me what is my calling what makes me happy i personally believe that a purpose is it's right in the middle of what makes you happy and what you're really good at and when those two things meet i think that's your purpose because we can have so many things that we're really good at but it's not a lot of things that we really love and enjoy love and enjoy there's only a certain amount of things that we really are really passionate about so when you find those two things and find a medium that is your purpose hang on to it and you know go with the flow go with the golden flow. golden Golden, and I know that they cook a look. I got another queen on here shouting out Queen and Zinga. Hello, what hello. Up? Thanks for joining Peace. us. Yes. It's manifestation. There's such a, when, I think Erica Badu had a quote about watch, excuse me for my language, watch shit happen when you write it down. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And it uh -huh. truly manifests. And I'll be honest with you, like a lot of stuff that I've written down, and don't expect that you got to be patient. There's certain and tools. Grateful. You have to be patient. patient and grateful. You have to be grateful for what grateful. you have right now. Right now. This is right now is always important. Before you go asking for more things, it's very important that you realize where you are in this moment and how beautiful this journey is. How beautiful this is. I know it's easier said than done, but it's really and if, if people want to like aspire greatness or want to fulfill their goals and dream want to be a best a great uh wife or husband or yep. architect or mm -hmm. entrepreneur All of those. Yep. what does that take mm -hmm. it takes discipline there's a, there's a for, i'm getting older i'm learning i guess this formula to life that's greatness but it really breaking bad habits you mm -hmm. can't expect to do certain things you're gonna have to get up maybe four in the morning or five in the morning six in the right. morning do certain things you have to do for yourself for your business and if you may have to get up and drink some a bottle of water I got water on deck. I'll drink some tea, whatever that is. Look, look, I got the tea. I got you know, hello. That's so cool. You think? Exactly. You know, it's it's um, you really yeah. You have to you have to be able to once you realize what you want to do in life. For example, um, me personally, being an actress, I have to figure out well, what does an actress do every day? How do I spend my time? What do I research? Uh, what do I yeah. invest in? You know, like, if that's something that you want to do, um, like, how does it, whatever you choose to do, if you're a doctor, like, how does a doctor um, wake up every morning? What do they study? What do they uh, uh, look up? How does that look for me? What does that feel like? If you were a doctor right now in this moment today, what does that feel like? And really, like, really soak in it. Like, if, if it is someone who um, meditates often, for me personally, I would meditate and really just take in what it feels like to be that higher self, that person that I imagine myself to be, what does that feel like? What does that sound like? What am I doing every day? And those are the questions you have to ask yourself because you, you, the journey is going to be, it's going to be a long journey. It's going to be a long journey. But Maybe a lifetime. Maybe a lifetime. Man, but it's going to be so worth it when you actually put the work in and you, you just, you're transi transi transitioning yourself yeah. into that person. Like that's mm -hmm. just what you're doing. Um, I have um, I have I have post-its all over my. I I don't I don't know. I, I can't walk y'all around my apartment. <laughs> I, I have post-its all over the place and post-its about health and wealth, about abundance, about blessings for my family. So when I, I work from home a lot of the time, so I just walk around and on my random, I just read them, mm -hmm. and you see how things manifest. I've had days where I'm like, oh, I need to. Hmm, I need to, you know, pay my, pay for this bill or pay for that bill. And then boom, mm -hmm. I have it right there. But that's because I, something in your brain clicks, peace queen, wonder action, visualize it. And your brain, exactly. And it have it click mm -hmm. where you move in this fearless place and know that everything is provided for. Mm -hmm. And everything's not going to be peachy every day. Yeah. Like I remember, like I have a daily calendar, a routine, a daily routine. And it just says like, eat, pray, meditate, uh, read for 15 minutes, work on your finance, do that. It's, she said, read the three behind you. Oh, she wants me, oh, I will, I will. She wants me to read the three. <laughs> I will. So 
So I have, I may not do 100 of that every day. I may do 80% of it or 50, but it's there. It's in my mind. Mm -hmm. And I remember, so so I'm saying, sometimes you just got to write it down because here's the thing about God or whatever you believe in. When you write it down, God goes, all right, cool, I got the rest. Right. Don't I just need to start. Don't That's worry why I see about it. I got it. I got it from here. Yes. I got the rest. Mm -hmm. He's like, I just want you to, uh, to start it. All right, cool. cool. Here mm -hmm. you go. Yeah. This, now, this is what I want you to do. You, are you with me now? Right. But it really right. takes you sitting down. I okay. I posting notes so much because it, what people, like a lot of times I have to remind myself, when you write a post-it note for yourself, you're training your brain to think that way, to believe it, to now you can't read. You, you Leave it at the you altar. You can't take steps backwards anymore. You're, you're writing, I am abundance. You are abundant. I won't have these issues or I'm, I'm, re I'm creating. I am a creator. You are a creator. You are. And once you continue to repeat those, then it, it, it just starts to happen because you're no longer, you don't have anything else to think about. You're training yourself. You're training But yourself. that's even something that you just said. I, I started to cut you off. No, you're good. No, that was good. That was it. it. Was something that you even said, I remember saying also, so when you write, write it down, you got to be patient because it may not, sometimes it's going to manifest like that. Mm -hmm. Sometimes what you want to manifest tomorrow, the God of the universe may say, can you wait a year? You may not get it for a year, but mm -hmm. it's going to come because yes. you already put it out in the universe. Or can you, I've, I've manifested stuff that I waited seven years for. Mm -hmm. and been obedient and patient enough. My sister wanted me to read three. Yes. Okay, this one says, I am worthy of making more money. Yes. Okay. I am healed, mind, body, and spirit. Mm. That's important to have all three connected. Okay. I am a magnet for prosperity. Prosperity is drawn to me. Yes. And it's, they're so, they're very, they're a right mm -hmm. one, and they're very specific, you know, and it's important when you're writing, you, you have to know exactly what are you asking for. Like, if you're asking for more love, what does more love look like? What does that look like? What, what, what exactly does that feel like? You have to, you yeah. have to know exactly what you are asking for. I love that. I love that. So she said, leave it on the altar. Amen. Yeah. Man. Even if you need a, how do we, how do I start Be Manifest is when I know how you start. Just start writing down what you want. Mm -hmm. And then understanding the difference between what you want and what you already have. Because you can, a lot of times, a lot of times I think that materialistic, for example, when you buy stuff, the feeling that you get when you buy a new bag or a nice bracelet or whatever, those feelings that you get with that, learning to have those feelings without it makes it 10 times as fast your whatever you're asking for comes so much quicker because you've already invested the time into it that you are now grateful for the very moment and you're not worried about what the future may bring you're taking your step by step being in the moment being grateful for what you have and focusing on that feeling of getting whatever it is that you're asking for right now so that way the process and the journey becomes so much easier you you see nothing but blessings you see nothing from but blessings and everything works in your favor. So that's like, I guess that's really important when it comes to when you find your purpose, figuring out how can I apply everything now in my life to work towards my vision? What can I do to make sure everything that I do today, whether it's studying, whether it's hanging out with certain people, um, just creating, what can I do today? that is going to always get me closer and closer to my vision? How can I transfer my life to really become that person that I'm asking to be? Those are the real questions that you have to ask yourself. Hello. Got my, my sis, Sarita, on here. Peace and love, queen. Hey, hey, boo. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. Good. You, you have to be tunnel vision, too. You can't look mm -hmm. at everywhere else. You have to be tunnel vision on what you believe in. Mm -hmm. and very strong and grounded on it i think that a lot of people yeah. have i was talking to my friends about this um, I have opinions and it's it's sometimes you don't need you don't need an opinion sometimes you don't need an opinion you just put your feet right in and you just go you go but check this out though that's all as i'm getting older now and i'm like that's okay too i'm yes. hearing why i say that it's mm -hmm. the shift in the mind so 
I I used to always have this thing like people are <laughs> people are, are um shouldn't judge. People shouldn't judge. But guess what? We do it right. Yeah. Um, it's how we receive it. Yeah. So I can may have someone. Yeah, I may have someone say something I may not like. That's there. That's how, that's how I say stay tunnel vision. That's how right. they feel. It's not your walk, not your path. Oh, oh, wow. You feel that way? I think one time my friend said something to me and it was like, I, I took it as a comment. It was like, oh, you're so silly. You're crazy. And I was like, thank you. Mm -hmm. It's how I, how I receive it. Yeah. So those comments, those judgments are going to come. Those things are going to come, but it's how you receive it. Mm -hmm. And everything in life, you got to let it go. Yeah. And you, you can't hold on to nothing. Nothing. Stay focused. Passion. Change, chase the dream and not the competition. Stay focused. Fact. Period. Yes, period. most definitely. You have to have tunnel vision. And not only that, like it's okay to, it's okay to not react. I think a lot of times we think that when we get in a situation, when we get in a predicament, you have to react. Anything that someone says, how someone may feel, you have to react. You don't have to react. We have things that we can react to every day. We have thoughts every day. Different thoughts come in and out. We choose what thoughts to act on. We choose what thoughts matter. We choose what thoughts is really going to uh, like benefit us in that moment. You yes, don't have to yes, react yes, to yes, everything yes. that goes on, on in life. life. And when you realize mm -hmm. that, it's like, wow. Because when we react to everything, it doesn't do anything but drain us then. It doesn't do anything but drain us when you're trying to react to everything. How am I supposed to please you and you and myself and the whole world and my friends? How am I supposed to, you know, like some things you just have to not give your energy to because it's not, if, if it doesn't benefit your, your vision, your purpose, then it's, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. It isn't. Exactly. And Sorry, I'm texting somebody. Mm -hmm. No, it's a, it's totally fine. Yeah. But then it yeah, just sitting in that like you don't have to react to everything. And let your vision be the thing that drives you. I think a lot of times people have visions but they forget about it or they put it on the side and now they're Don't you know, do that. You know, just going mm -hmm. with the flow and just letting life mm -hmm. you're here for a reason. You're here for don't a reason. Don't give up on your dreams, don't especially us as a people. Mm -hmm. especially us as a people we have to i don't want to say fight fight for our dreams right we have to follow our dreams for the next generation to come for our ancestors yes. who work so hard for where we are and how do you mm -hmm. do that set yourself on a schedule whether it's three days a week maybe friday for me fridays I, I work on finance friday and wednesday i meditate you have to put yourself on this routine and if you fall off track get back on it but don't give up on your goals and dreams it's so important mm -hmm. i always say that i i I do the work that I do because I want to be a part of, I am a part of the puzzle to yeah. make the world a better place. Mm -hmm. so I do yeah. my part. So I don't worry. I, I pray that I'm here for many, 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 many years to come. Mm -hmm. But God forbid, if I, my sister's probably going to be like, girl, stop talking. God like, forbid, if I leave tomorrow, I know I worked my butt off. Mm -hmm. I, did my, I worked on my path and my journey. I did everything in my, from the top of my crown to the bottom of my feet, everything in my power I gave, yeah. you know. You know what I mean? So you want yeah. to leave that legacy for the never, never give up. Yeah, to, for the next generation to come. It's so important. Yeah, and I it's think so a lot of, I think a lot of times when people have visions or purpose or any anything that they want and desire, sometimes they give up because it, it seems un, unrealistic. My favorite nah. affirmation that I tell myself very often tell me. is, if it wasn't possible, I wouldn't have thought it. That's it. If it wasn't possible, I wouldn't have thought about it. That, that's just what it is. I, why would I imagine myself being on a big screen and, you know, just what, what that is for me if it wasn't possible? It just doesn't, it doesn't make sense. Why would I receive that vision? Why would anyone receive any vision that they have today? All this stuff that's around us has been created from someone thinking, I think this is going to look like this and I'm going to try it. And they made it happen. They had a vision, they went after it, and they made it happen. And now today we have so many materialistic things around us. We have so many big buildings, small buildings, homes, and just so many things because people but have, I'm, people are creators. They create, I'm fascinated. They say, this is what, this is what I want to do. They do it and nothing gets in the way of that. If it's not here, sometimes we think that we have to see it to believe it. No, you just have to feel it. You just got to feel it. Let me tell you, one of my most, because again, I'm a foodie, so 
So one of uh, if, if it wasn't possible, I would never have thought about it. Yes, powerful. She said what she said exactly. Yes. Powerful. Yes. Even creating like so many things, like you said, materialistic things that were created. I'm fascinated by the chicken patty. The person that created a chicken patty, like how amazing. You know what I mean? Like the whole Everybody thought process. Has a job. Everybody has a job. <laughs> Everybody has the chicken job. patty brought jobs for people. You know what I mean? So y'all better follow your dreams. Yes. Like what do you have to lose at the end of the day? What are you, if you don't, if you decide, okay, I'm not going to follow my dreams. What are you going to do? <laughs> like, what are you going to do? Keep your vibration high. You got to, and it's important that make sure you're surrounding yourself of keeping vibration high, that people are around you are not pulling your energy down, that yes. they're lifting you up. So if you're in a household that maybe you may need to remove yourself, you may need to tone in, you may need to find ways, but guess what? You got to say, look, I'm going to do this for right now, but five months, five months from now, a year from now, I'm out, whatever that is. You have to do the high line, sister. You yeah. have to do that work. Yes, life is challenging. We have all so many things going on, and my condolences to so many people who've lost lives and just what we are dealing with. But when we have moments like this to vibrate higher, right, yes. sis? Yes. We embrace that. You have, have to it. embrace that. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. It's so beautiful. Yeah. It's so beautiful because I can think you about when I was where I was five years ago, ten years ago, and I'm like, I would have never – I well, I would, wouldn't say never, but I would – would have have thought like this. What? If I would have known this in high school, if I would have known this, it's just, it's a beautiful thing to realize that there is just so much more to life than just, just being alive. Explore, live, find your purpose, find something to drive you and be the best person that you can be. That person that you Thank imagine you. is not impossible. That person that you want to wake up as, that lifestyle, all of that, it's not impossible. The power of manifestation is real, yeah. It is. Sometimes I'm up feel it. at yes. three in the morning. I'm up at if my. I find sometimes like if I'm up, my body wakes up, and you're like, "All right, what's going on here?" I use that time to pray. I use that time to meditate. Or I may use that time. I start. I start creating. I make. I start creating jewelry or whatever is going on. Mm -hmm. or I may use that time. I'm working on finding grants for my company, Your Queen. I'll use that time to work on the next grant. But you have to really believe in what you're doing yeah and not only by word by action and there's times where i'm not feeling well i'm not feeling very positive but sometimes that's when magic happens because i'm pushing, yes. my, oh I'm my pushing myself through that i'm like mm, i don't want to yes. get off the bed today but once i did at the end of the day i'm like i'm so happy i mm -hmm. did that i'm so happy i pushed through but mm -hmm. shout out to my people I have an amazing team. My queens are on here. My best friends are on here. My hello, sororities hello, are on here. I love y'all. We talk yeah, almost daily to almost everybody that's on here. So yes. they're my crew. They're yes. the ones that help me keep my energy up. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Chanakwa. His birthday is today, and he's tuning in. We turn it up. Yes. Yes, 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 turn up. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. <laughs> I yes. love y'all. This is just. This is all that it is. Elevating. Always elevating. When you realize whatever it is that you want, go through all five of your senses and ask yourself, how does this feel? How does this taste? How does this sound? How do I feel about Like, just go through all of your senses and really break it down and do not, do not stop letting go of that until you feel it in your flesh. Like, say that again. Do say that again. You just go through it with all five senses and do not stop until you feel it in your flesh. Like, just don't stop. Don't stop. And it's okay to have those days where you don't feel like working, where you don't feel like being a creator. That is part of the journey. I actually, my first, first YouTube channel, Say that. I don't YouTube anymore because all of that editing and stuff is not for me. But um, <laughs> I I, feel my you. YouTube channel is about um, sadness and how motivating it is because we can be in different emotions and everything, but just because you're sad or just because you're you're tired doesn't mean that you can't still create. Doesn't mean that you can't really you can't it's still find me. something or do something with that emotion and with that time. And I think that's where a lot of people get confused that it's like you don't always just work because you're in a good mood. You don't always just work because you're positive today or you're feeling good today. Sometimes we go through things, going through life, and it's those moments. That's really like, man, I'm so glad I pushed through. I'm so glad it's over now. I'm so Tell, glad. Hello, I somebody. Story. Hello? Um, yeah. No, I'm agreeing with you. I'm agreeing with you. Yeah. Yes. Man, the best bodies of work come through sadness. 
Sis. It's so authentic. There's nothing to when you're sad, you you're very vulnerable. And when you're vulnerable, a lot of parts and pieces of you shine light for other people because they can now relate. And that's I've had like, moments. Huh? Yeah. So I've had moments where I may not I'm very open, so I'll tell you like if how you feeling today, I'm gonna be like, I'm pissed. Yeah. Oh, how you feeling? I feel great. You know, most of the time I'm high bubbly, but I'll tell you, I don't. I want us to normalize being okay, sharing our pain. Being where it's honest, not a mm -hmm. a thing. And with my company, Your Queens, we do that. We will, we normalize how we're feeling at that moment. It's so important that we open that energy and that space to feel that, especially as Black women and our Black men and as our Black children and people of color. But you understand? You already know. You already yes. know. Yes. But it's coming, so I'm always very vulnerable because I want other people to know, like, yeah, I'm right here with you. Yeah, I'm right here with you. Yeah, we're going through this together. Yeah. One of my one of my um one of my queens had a uh a, a quote that she posted today, and I was like, that's it. This makes sense, and it's she said about generational trauma. Oh man. And so I can't. You know what is that? Don't believe in that though. That's that part. So she said, two, there's two types of people you will meet all the time. One that's dealing with generational trauma, trauma and one that's trying their best to break it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. You get what I mean? Yeah. So you yeah. either, you either like, gotta so deal I, with I know it for me, you I'm working on breaking that. That's mm -hmm. my part. I'm aware of it. I'm aware of our trauma. Hi, sis. Yeah. I'm aware of our trauma. How do we move past that? Move past that is through our conversation, it's through not putting your walls up if somebody's trying to like have a someone you know that especially like let's think about like relationships or if it's best friends or whatever if you know that person has good intentions and they know you know their heart mm -hmm. don't be alarmed by certain things they may say to you because we'll put our walls up because of childhood trauma we'll do yeah. all these extra things when it's all about love mm -hmm. so you have to recognize that we all deal with these things how do we bring down the wall and be and hold space for each other yep to mm -hmm. feel comfortable yeah. to share Mm -hmm. I'm very big on um, healing and like that process because once you heal from a lot of things that you've been through, you're able to explore and open up in your in your everyday life in a more vulnerable way and also be able to speak about it for other people. So other people can do that because a lot of times I think that a lot of times when people don't flourish is because they haven't healed. They haven't healed. They don't want they they're not ready to flourish because they haven't healed yet. But the more that the black community heals the more that we will continue to flourish for everyone, for ourselves, for our men, for our, our children, for the next generation, like that, the more that we just focus on healing and being okay with yes. being vulnerable and expressing ourselves to each other and to our friends and having that circle, the more that we do that, the more that we will continue to flourish. It's, it's a norm. It's a norm. It it's a norm. norm. Let's make it it's it's a norm now. Not say yeah. let's make it. Let's say it is a norm it now. It is a norm now. <laughs> It's a norm. Human is so important. That. It's a norm. So we can so we can follow our purpose and we can set this set this right. Healing is so important. I just said the opportunity to welcome in new energy. Yes. Very therapeutic as hell. <laughs> yes, yeah. yes, yes. Yes, sis. Shout out to my sister L. Love you, love you, love you. Thank you for tuning in. Yes. So one is talking about life and I love guess. and purpose. No, it feels it feels so good to share this with you. Um, Same. Same. One of, the, one of the things that um, I was thinking about was being intentional. What exactly does it mean to be intentional? And one of the things that I wrote down was having a vision. It's so important that if you are someone who meditate or whenever you do get a chance, sit down and think about what it is, what it looks like, have that vision. So that way, when you're in a hard rock, you know, a hard place, between a rock and a hard place in life, you're able to go back to what it looks like for you and really looking, looking at you in that space at that very moment. It's important that we all have that vision. Because you can ask people, I've met, after I started surrounding myself more and more about, around the people that I wanted to surround myself by, I ended up meeting someone. And every time I talk to him, I kid you not, the question is always, what did you create today? Or what are you going to create today? And it, it's crazy because when he asked me, before yeah, he used to ask me that, I've never used to ask myself that. I've never, that's yeah, never yeah. a question like, 
what do I want to create today? What will I create today? But it, when you wake up in the morning and you ask yourself that question, you have a whole nother perspective. Like, what can I do today? And what it's so simple today? just to it's ask so that. What did you create today? What, who are you, what are you given today? Who yes, are you what given did you give today? Oh, who, who are you sharing love with today? Who are you sharing with? Yes. What love are you giving today? Like, what, you know, like having that intentional, being intentional with the things that you want and that you do with your life, just be intentional. What are you going to do today? How are you going to get closer to your vision? Are you going to write it down? Are you going to create something? Are you going to get a little creative and paint something? Are you going to do some research? What is it like? What are you going to do? Even if it's a little just step by step, you can do that. But it's important that we know what our vision looks like and ask ourselves, what can I do today to lead up to that moment? What is going to happen? And it's so, it's so beautiful as you share that because once you tap into who you are, you will evolve and discover more about who you are. Yes, and you just keep growing and keep growing, and it's just nonstop. And then it's just like, this is beautiful. You I'm beautiful. More like, wow, I didn't know I could do that. I'm like, wow, oh my gosh. Yes. That's me. I'm really powerful. No, seriously. Like looking in the mirror and telling yourself that, like, oh my goodness. Like, I was you just are, about to say girl, that. You just, you are flourishing. And like to really like just have that, that feeling of just, I'm just so happy for you. I just want to hug myself. Like, you better. Especially when you've been through, when you actually do the, the healing and you, you look at your past and it's like, wow, you did it. I, like, and we need it. And it, you made me, as I'm li listening to you, I'm, I'm getting all this positive vibe. So thank you. But it's also like inspiring me about the work that we have to do, especially why we do to think about our, our black and brown children mm -hmm. and what they're seeing right now, what they're experiencing. And I flash back to two weeks ago, I taught a um, social distance dance class for black girls called Black Girl Spectrum at Jamaica Center. And from what you're saying, being intentional, what my sister Sarita said, intentional, I intentionally taught them choreography to brown skin girl, to run the world, to rise up um, by Andre Day. Then I threw in my little Spanish conga, because I had a little Spanish mamacita in there. Intentional. Yeah. I intentionally did affirmation with them. Mm -hmm. I intentionally, we can't hug. I told them, hug yourself. You're yes. beautiful. You're powerful. And I'll see you soon. I, I tell my students, listen, life is so precious. We have to embrace these moments. We don't yes. get it back. So I need you to give me your all. Yes. She said being in a place of constant gratitude. Like that is the key to manifesting. Yes. Manifesting yes. is being grateful and thankful for where you are today and what you're doing today. That is the key. Finding your happiness right now or whatever you're looking for, find it right now now live in the now and I, I swear your days i haven't i don't remember where my days i am at a point where every day gets better for me even when it's a quote unquote bad day every day gets better for me and i don't remember ever feeling like this 10 years ago i don't remember what it's that real. felt like but when it's you real be grateful and find little things to be grateful about all the time you there there's no there's there's everything and every reason in the world to just go after what you want to go after, right? Why not? You're protected. You walk in love. Be present and in intentional. Abundance. Yeah. Like, you just do it. Know that you are protected. Know that what you desire is what you will get. Be yeah. intentional. Yes, me either. Yes. I, man. Gratefulness, I swear. And it's crazy because we'll ask, be asked that question like when we're younger. Like, what are you grateful for? What are you thankful for? It's like, my, my mommy and my mommy. And it's like, all right, like, what does that mean? What does it mean to really be grateful and thankful? What does that mean? You know, how does that feel? <laughs> it's so funny, but I have you gone back and looked at, I'm just sending this out to somebody. Have you gone back and looked at, like, my sister just recently posted her elementary school graduation book where the kids sign autograph mm -hmm. book where the kids, so this is junior high school i think also mm -hmm. and um so being grateful but it's also in the line of what people see about you they they put a lot that she was talkative wow. that she was talkative and she but now she's an amazing she's a chief operating officer for uh, an, a non-profit organization called reach she's a wife she's a mother of three my my sister 
fear. Nice. Fear. Beautiful. And so, so just even thinking, like, go back to, I like to also go back to my journals and see what I write. Yeah. From years ago. See the I wrote about myself. Yeah. Because um, sometimes it aligns. It aligns, too. Yeah. It always, everything is always in perfect alignment. Everything mm -hmm. works in my favor. It's, it's, it's over. I've already, re re I already realized it. <laughs> everything over. works in my favor. Oh, well. <laughs> But right like, thank you thank you yes like thank you just thank you every day like thank you thank you <laughs> thank y'all for tuning in we have thank you for this opportunity one second we have one question what advice yeah. would you give someone who is struggling with finding their purpose so like i said in the beginning i think i said for me personally a purpose is what you're really good at it's in between. It's in between what you're really good at and what you love. And it's in the middle of, the, of those. And I think that because there's a balance. There's a balance with your purpose. With your purpose, like, yes, you have to go hard. You have to go in, staying up late, all of that, you know. But it comes with more ease and love with it versus feeling like you have to force yourself to do it. There are pr plenty of things we can be good at. You can be good at being an accountant or you can be good at being a lawyer you can be good at all those things but if there isn't any love coming from it more so more more than um uh the hard work and the stress and everything like that it's probably not your purpose that's just something you're really good at that's just something you're really good at but and that's the reason why people get so far down the line and they're like man what did i do with my time or i should have done this or i should have done that and i'm so successful financially but i'm not happy because you found something that you were good at, you tackled it, but you didn't think, what do you love? You didn't invest in the, in the love of it, in the love part. And I think that's what people miss out on. If it's not driven by love, for me personally, I don't go after it. If I'm not, if I don't love being in this space and I don't love being here and what, spending my time here, if I don't feel like I'm elevating, I'm probably not going to be there. Nine times out, I'm not going to be there because it's not, it's not helping me. So finding your purpose is in between those, what you really, really love and what you're really, really good at. What do you think? Um, what advice can now, you give with that? I, I'm, I'm curious to what the person that's asking the question, what they like to do. Mm -hmm. I always say that with that, it's definitely, my sister Rita wrote it down. I want to read what she wrote. For me, it was to get quiet and ask God to reveal things to me. Mm -hmm. So, right? A lot of times we wait, and you, you have to do the work. You gotta, you have to do the work. But I always say it's just start. So if you're thinking about maybe what, I'm not sure the person that asked the question, what they, what they like to do, start thinking about what it is that you like to do. Mm -hmm. And even if it's just writing down, that you may need to start. Everybody's um, path is different. So some things may work. Sitting still may not work for you. Mm -hmm. Maybe writing it down may work for you. So that's how you start. Put yourself in a routine. Go within. Do some, start. Start whatever mm -hmm. that I can't stress that enough. Just start just whatever start. that is. Yeah. I have yeah. a home girl who um started like a, a keto um a keto workout thing, mm -hmm. and he started with small, and she's growing. And the way she does, she posts recipes, she posts positive things. So whatever that is, you don't know. Stop worrying about what everybody else thinks. Mm. Again, because you got if you, whether you got that one person or billions. You're doing it. I love that. Stop worrying about what everybody hates. Mm -hmm. Blessings, blessings. blessings. You can't worry about no what. So defining your purpose, let go of what everybody else thinks. Go within. Within for you is either writing in your journal, meditating, running, painting. Mm -hmm. The thing is do something every day. Maybe if you're just starting out with baby steps, maybe start with two days to find in that purpose. Today I'm going to draw. Today I'm going to, I'm really going to sit within. Experience that. And trust me. You will get to it. It took me seven years to learn to meditate. Yeah. And I had to be okay with that. Mm -hmm. And we're meditating even right now at this moment. I, yeah. I, I can quiet mm -hmm. my energy mm -hmm. and be present for you. So it's a journey. So I'll be like, yo, all right, I got it now. My purpose is a journey. I just got to go within. Heal thyself, know thyself. Mm -hmm. What is that for me? For me, it's sitting down. For me, it's dancing. For me, it's surrounding myself with people that lift me up. These are not just words. Again, I'm not big on words, but these are actual things that I do daily. Mm -hmm. Eating fruit, whatever. I go spend time with my, I'm a very active auntie. I go spend time with my nieces and lefty, and I let, I let them just play in my hair, whatever that is. Is that 
I laugh with them. We make funny faces. Yeah. It's important weekly, those things. But you can't sit around. Yeah. You got to move. Unless you're yeah. working on yourself. You mm -hmm. can't be like, yeah. yeah. But then if that, I love you, sis. If that is what's happening, you got to check what's around you. You got to check yeah. those bad habits you're doing. Can we keep, can we yeah. be real with ourselves? No, yes. And that's drinking the and sometimes, smoking or whatever. Yes. Sometimes it just That's going to stunt you. It starts there sometimes. And that's the thing. Like, it, it just. Like you said, it's so hard to say what to do to start. You just have to start. Because sometimes I can say, okay, yeah, you should meditate. But then now you're having a difficult time meditating. Now you have to figure out why or how to meditate, you know? So it's like finding that thing that fits you. And then, like you said, some people can just be really uptight and don't want to open up. Now you have to figure out, why am I so uptight? Maybe you have to start there. But Brianna down the street, she didn't have to start there. You know, like it's, everyone has different journeys. I don't have, we didn't have the same experiences. We didn't grow up the same. So our journeys are going to be different. What drives me is going to be di different. Whatever connects me to my purpose and to my moment is going to be different. So Girl, you just set me off for the rest of the weekend. I could fly now just <laughs> listening to your words. Yeah! Just let it go. Just let it Hi, go. Hi, Sam. Hey, Lauren. Man, because it, it, it's no, it's, there's not an answer. There's no direct answer. It's just start wherever it feels good for you lead with love when you lead with love you find so many beautiful things just yeah lead anything with else? Love. what do i like sometimes you have to start with waking up and just asking yourself what would make me happy today what do i want to do today there's been plenty of times where i had to take a step back from work and i'm just like i just want to have i just want to enjoy life i just want to live i don't want to work and you sometimes you have to do that. Sometimes you have to step, take a step back and just ask yourself, what would ha make me happy right now? Hi, Marilyn. One of my board, my, my family and board of directors are on. I love you. It's Hello. so funny when you say that yesterday, I was, I was talking to one of my queens and um, she's like, what are you up to? What are you up to this week? And I was like, girl, I'm still making face masks. See, y'all could, uh, shameless plug, I make face masks. Healing, Eki Famous Healing Face Mask. Check out my Etsy site. Nice. And one of a kind jury. And I was like, all I've been doing is making face masks and creating or teaching a dance class. And she goes, Eki, this is what you've been wanting to do. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. So, though I've been, uh, um, have my, my company for many, many years. Yeah, I've had a part-time job, full-time jobs, whatever. But my goal was, I need, I want to, I really truly believe in Eki Famous and your queen. Mm -hmm. We go hard. We no, building this. Right. right. There's no, you God, you God you gave it's it to me. Hard. Why are you going to go? It's not hard. <laughs> it's like... I, if I, I got to sit at home and make jewelry, yes, y'all, order. I will make your jewelry. I gladly, gladly, joyfully yes. make it and create, be at home and create for you. And I'm so thankful. I've had people, some people on here who've had jewelry oh, yeah, of mine. One minute for remaining. Years. Just to get, get out. You off. It's been an hour already. Yeah, we have two minutes. Yep. <laughs> Are you oh, kidding me? I got your queens on here. Yes. My family. What up? What up? Hello. I know. We're about to jump off. We got one minute. Um, I'll let you take it. <laughs> so just to wrap it up, finding or finding your finding your purpose starts within. And after that, finding being intentional is what's really important after that. You can manifest all that you want. You can write down all that you want. That's a step towards it as well. But you have to use your senses. Use all five senses to really tackle what it is that you want to do with your life. What does it look like? How does it feel with that moment? Um, what can I do today to really get me to that level? You know, those are that is what you do to get you to that 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 moment. Being intentional, waking up every day with the purpose, with the mission. Doesn't have to be anything big, like oh, for the next five hours, want to study, study, study. It could be <laughs> one thing. I want to read. Uh, Half a chapter today. Beautiful. You just got a step closer. That's, just, that's all that it is. What does that person look like? What do you need to do? Um, got a few more seconds. Do you have any last words? Thank you for this platform. I love you guys. It's a pleasure to meet you. Hope to meet you in person. Y'all are amazing. Follow your dreams. Don't give up. I love y'all. Yes. Peace. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Peace to everyone. Sleep well. Think well. Eat well. Yes. <laughs> I believe in all of you. Can't wait to see you flourish. Yes. Good night. Got oh, and so your um Instagram handles. Eki's famous. I think it's on there. E K I S famous, and then your queens. Y O U R Q U E E N S Inc. 
All right. Bye. Bye. Peace, peace, and